Bobby Rydell on his signature song, Volare, one of the greatest sing-along songs of all time. I'm John Bowden from Nailsheet.com. Even though Bobby Rydell's biggest hit was Wild One from 1960, which peaked at number two and sold a million copies, he had two other songs out of his 19 top 40 hits that were also million sellers. Forget Him, which peaked at number four in 1963, and Volare from three years before, which hit number four, which is one of the easiest songs to sing. Well, you know, Volati is my signature song now. It's my, it's my walk-on music, it's my bow music, and of course I do it in the show. Uh, but the guy who originally wrote and sang the song who had a hit was Domenico Medugno. And I had the great opportunity of meeting uh, Mr. Medugno in his villa in Rome. And we got great pictures with him, so, you know, he had recorded it, and then, God rest his soul, Mr. Dean Martin recorded it. And I had the good fortune of going into the studio and recording it. You know, it's a totally different version than the Dunios and, and Dean Martin. And uh, it came out, and we loved it, and we put it out. And lo and behold, it became my second million seller. Wild One was the first. Forget Him was the third. So, um, you know, it, that most, of the, most of the people, you know, when I do my show, yeah, they love Sway, they love Forget Him, they love Wild One. But they really, really enjoy, you know, Volati. I get the whole, you know, after I sing the first verse, you know, I go through the first chorus and so on and so forth. I get the audience to sing Volati, you know, so on and so forth. So uh, it's a great record. Bobby Rydell's book is Teen Idol on the Rocks, A Tale of Second Chances. And one day I was sitting in the, the dentist's office waiting for my appointment. And there was a woman who m might have had like 10, 15 years on me. She kept staring at the book because I was holding it like this. And she asked me, she said, why would a guy your age be reading a book about Bobby Rydell? And I told her, I have a, a deep interest in music that was recorded and formed before I was born. And she stopped me and she said, you know, I'll tell you something about Bobby Rydell. All his music made me feel good. His songs were happy songs. And I shared that with Bobby. I, well, that's, I think all of my songs, you know, uh, Wild One, Sway, The Cha Cha Cha, Good Time Baby, so on and so forth. They were really happy songs, you know, nothing to really sit back and think about, you know. It was just happy music, you know, like they say, it had a good beat and you could dance to it. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, most of my songs are happy songs. Yeah. Teen Idol on the Rocks, A Tale of Second Chances is Bobby Rydell's book. Information on that at BobbyRydell.com. We'll have more from Bobby Rydell coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Nailsheet.com.